Hi boys, today we're gonna be talking about fucking Drake, Certified Boy Lover. You know, I'm gonna say this album, kinda crazy. Drake kinda went off, I'm not gonna lie. Now obviously this comes around the same time Donda dropped, and Donda being my favorite album to ever drop, you know, Drake had some competition. Kanye West came with the fucking guns unloaded. Drake, you know, his time has fucking come. Drake's like 90 years old. Kanye West was about to put this man in the fucking ground. But to our surprise, Drake came out here. Drake said, you know, Drake straight up came out as a lesbian on this album. And quite frankly, boys, I can respect that. You know, Drake being a lesbian, I can respect that. You know, it's 2021, a lot of people, you know, they'll be hating on Drake for this, but if Drake's a lesbian, guys, that's just how it goes, boys. Now, in terms of the songs on this project, um, you start out with Champagne Poetry, which is a decent intro. It's a, it's a well-written lyrics. Personally, it's not my favorite song on the project. It's kind of boring. I, I, I will say the songs on this project are dragged out a little bit too long. That is a major complaint. I have with this project. The next song is Poppy's Home. I'm not a fan of this song. It's okay. The lyrics are well written, but it's again, it's kind of like champagne poetry. It's just a little bit dragged on. It's a very long song. For some reason, a lot of songs on this project are like five to ten minutes long, and it's just kind of crazy. But then, Little Baby, Drake, they come out with the banger. Girls Want Girls. This is the the best song on the project. Drake comes out as a lesbian on this song. And quite frankly, this is the song that people are going to be telling their children about. This is the song that's going to go down in history as the only reason that Drake didn't get bodied by Kanye West entirely on this album. The next song is In the Bible. I'm not a fan. Love All with Jay-Z. I'm not a fan of that one either. But then you get Travis Scott on the fucking mic with the fair trade with Drake, and it is a fucking good song, I will say. Drake, Travis Scott, you know, we get some collabs here and there, but this is a, a song that I feel like really took off really well. Next, you have Future and Young Thug on Way Too Sexy, which I'm gonna be real, this is probably the worst song on the album. There's a lot of bad songs on this album, but that's probably the worst one. No Friends in the Industry reminds me a lot about Future and Drake's Life is Good song. It's just kind of the same vibe, same style. It's a good song. I enjoyed it. I could rate the other songs, but I'm not really a fan of them. I'm, I don't really even like Drake that much. I don't really listen to Drake, but I just decided... You know, Drake, Certified Catboy, I had to make an album for this obviously going down as one of the greatest albums of all time not a donda level album that is for sure but drake certified boy lover you know i'm gonna give it a solid 10 out of 10 on this project thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys for the next video and peace